years after Kristen Stewart was launched into superstardom, she dropped a few million on a glassy modern home in Malibu, which recently hit the market for almost double the price she paid. Aside from this home, which Kristen reportedly shares with her script supervisor mom, she's kept a main home in Los Feliz since 2012, as well as a multi-million dollar fixer-upper loft in the NoHo area of New York City. Today, we'll take a look at three of Ms. Stewart's properties. We even found the listings. In these videos, we don't reveal any addresses, and even though I've done a house tour of my own place, please do not show up at any private residences because it's not safe for anyone. Kristen Stewart is an actress and filmmaker who was the world's highest paid actress in both 2010 and 2012. She was born and raised in LA from the start to an American father and Australian mother, both of whom work show business. Kristen first gained notice at the young age of 12 when she played Jodie Foster's daughter in the thriller Panic Room, also earning her a young Artist Award nomination. She went on to appear in a handful of movies, but gained worldwide recognition when she played Bella Swan in the Twilight Saga film series from 2008 to 2012, which I'm sure you guys already know. These movies grossed over $3.3 billion worldwide. After starring in Snow White and the Huntsman, Stewart began to select roles in independent productions over big budget films such as Still Alice, Equals, and more. Kristen made her directorial debut in 2017 with the short film Come Swim and return to mainstream Hollywood roles in recent action films like Charlie's Angels and Underwater. At the time of this recording, Kristen's estimated net worth is at $70 million. Hey guys, it's Kara the Vampire Slayer, and today we're bringing you another house tour here on Famous Entertainment. We're noticing copycat channels popping up, but we're the original house tour connoisseurs, and 95% of you watching aren't subscribed, so hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. We post a new video daily. I'm still reading all your comments, and I saw you guys requested this one, so today we'll be taking a look at where Kristen Stewart calls home, including her homes in Los Feliz, Malibu, and more. We've done house tours in the likes of Jennifer Lawrence and Sarah Jessica Parker, and we'll link to some at the end. Follow me on Instagram to chat and as usual, let me know whose house tour is next in those comments down below. Now let's get into this video. In 2011, after Kristen had found mega success in the movie business, she dropped $4.8 million on a glassy contemporary home in Malibu, designed by Lork and O'Hare Heat Architects, and recently put it back on the market, and now it'll cost you $9.5 million. Tax records show the home is owned through a trust controlled by her mom and script supervisor, Jules Mann Stewart, and apparently they've shared the Ocean View hideaway over the years. Kristen's hillside estate spans about 5,800 square feet between the split level main house and the oval shaped two story guest house, offering five beds and 4.5 baths. The home is built atop a two car garage that looks perfect for a Malibu seaside lifestyle since it's decked out in surfboards. The home even looks like a classic Southern California lifeguard tower. An elevated and gated courtyard entry patio leads you into a spacious entrance hall featuring a vintage wooden surfboard on the wall and a collection of paintings and posters. The interior spaces are decorated eclectic and casual, also with high ceilings and soaring glass walls and windows perfect for views of the ocean. There's a bit of a nautical theme, especially in the combo living and dining area, where there's an anchor hung over the fireplace, mermaid figureheads floating above the room, and a tiny rowboat beside the couch to hold books. There are panels that slide open to an ocean-facing balcony, and the kitchen is behind a curved wall off the dining room. The clean line kitchen has up-to-date stainless steel appliances and poured concrete countertops. Bedrooms are located throughout the home and including a roomy guest or staff suite and two others that share his and hers bathroom. Of course, there's also the master suite, which is like a light-filled penthouse made up of a private lounge, airy bedroom, and stone-tiled ensuite, as well as a glass door leading to a spacious terrace. Outside, you'll find exterior stairs in the hillside leading the main house to the guest house, or if you're feeling brave, you could also take the stairs in the master bedroom and across a suspension bridge. The vine-covered guest house upper floor has a small lounge, kitchenette, and bathroom, and curved stairs lead down to a cozy cave-style bedroom. The property also has terrace gardens and a hot tub with over-the-roof sunset views. Now let's move on to Kristen's main home. 
Back in August 2012, the Twilight Star purchased a home in the Los Feliz neighborhood of LA for about $2.1 million, and the sprawling property was full of indoor-outdoor living spaces. She acquired the home after moving out of her previous place with ex Robert Pattinson following her cheating scandal. However, her ranch style home is only 1.5 short miles away from her and Rob's old place, so she didn't move too far at all. Kristen's house is in a much coveted gated enclave, offering her all the privacy and seclusion a celebrity could want. Listing information from the time of purchase shows a two-level hillside house made up of southwestern and contemporary styles, surrounded by tropical landscaping. Inside, her home measures 3,361 square feet with four beds and 4.5 baths. Many of the living spaces have tile or wide plank wood floors while opening up to deep covered patios that really embrace the California vibe. Among the common rooms, there's an eat-in kitchen with country-style rustic cabinets and high-grade stainless steel appliances. The back of Kristen's home opens on both floors to covered porches with panoramic over the tree views down to Hollywood. A backyard sun terrace is furnished with a stone fire pit and shows off sweeping views of the valley while the rest of the tropically landscaped yard has more patio space to sunbathe and lounge. Of course, there's also a fountain and a dark bottom lap length swimming pool with built in spa because no posh LA home would ever be complete without one. More recently, in 2017, it was reported that Kristen also bought some real estate in New York City. Located on a quiet cobblestone, Street between Broadway and Lafayette in the heart of downtown Manhattan, her property is walking distance to almost everywhere from the East Village, West Village, Soho, and more. Miss Stewart's apartment is in a six-floor building located on a street referred to as the Golden Street, built in 1871, while the building itself was designated a New York City landmark in 1979. It features an ornate cast iron facade, mansard roof, one passenger elevator, and one freight elevator. Her unit was a total fixer-upper, which she purchased for about $5.6 million, but it's also the second largest pad in the whole building. The 3,000 square foot spread is on the second floor and it's divided into two distinct sections with a total of three beds and two baths throughout. The open loft has 12 foot ceilings, original windows that wrap around three sides and let in a ton of natural lights, an exposed brick wall with a non-working fireplace, and an elevator room that can double as a safe room. At the south end of the apartment, the three bedrooms crowd around an open lounge area with small windows windowless bath and laundry area. The northern wing of Kristen's apartment has one huge room stretching 60 feet long with original hardwood floors, floor to ceiling windows, and a second windowless bathroom next to the tile floored kitchen. From what we can see about the state of the apartment, I'm sure Kristen jumped into renovations immediately. I just wish we could see what it looks like now. Either way, it was a totally open loft style unit giving it that authentic artist work living space. Okay guys, now we've taken a look at three homes of Kristen Stewart, including a place she's selling in Malibu, her main house in Los Feliz, and her New York fixer upper loft. After checking them out, what did you guys think? I know the listing photos of her loft in Manhattan are nothing to go by, but I'm sure by now the place looks like a sprawling, modern, celeb-worthy loft. If you guys have seen the place post renos, be sure to let me know and go ahead and rate Miss Stewart's homes as well. I would give the Malibu place a 7 or maybe an 8 strictly for the scenery and location and her Los Feliz place a 6.5. I'd love to get to know more of you guys so please like and subscribe to my personal channel if you haven't already. I post every Sunday and I reply to all my comments over there. We'll link you my latest video. So they married in 2015 and they met at her son's funeral. And then there's a guy who is like 500 pounds and does erotic eating, but I'm gonna get into all that. Thanks for tuning in. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.